Ah, okay, so this happens if you're full suspicion. There she is! Arg! Forgive us, Elise! Let go of me! That's enough. This is as far as you go, Elise! Wait. Wait! You heard him last, we've had it with the likes of you witches. Elise! Elise! Where's the marine? This is ridiculous. What's the meaning of this, father? It's for your own good, Elise. You must put a stop to this before it's too late. Oh, I'm sorry, Elise. It's time you confess, Elise. Confess to what, you... Your witchery, lass. Olaf Kieferberg knows what you're scheming. Hmm. You found an effigy in your home, Elise, in Old Hole's bedroom. You old you broke into Old Hole's bedroom? Your cousin, too. We can't be certain about who she truly is. A witch. Both of them, wretched witches. I am not a witch. We're not witches, you old fool. If only there was a way to be certain, Elise. <laughs> Mr. Gustav. Hmm. We need to make certain this stops here, or... Oh, please! Please forgive me, I never intended to... Rosemarine! Rosemarine. Not one more word, folks. Away with the witches. Oh. Out with it. You can't do this! Mr. Gustav, you of everyone must know this is wrong. That's enough. Lisa's right, Papa. We can't do this to them. That's enough. You're to stay here until dawn, whether you're witches or not. You, old geezer. you can't leave us here, you old fool. That's ridiculous. What exactly is this meant to achieve, Father? <sighs> Perhaps time to prove them innocent. However, if the witch's torment comes to an halt, we will know they're behind these horrors. This is ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Hmm. It's our only chance to protect Kieferberg, Elise. Wait. Wait. <sighs> Let us hope this all comes to an end tonight. Out with it. You fools. <gasps> I'm sorry, Elise. This is all because I. This isn't the time for your self-pitying nonsense, Rosemarine. Can't you see where... Oh. What was that? You've come to me at last. What? My beloved progeny. Please! Oh. Forsaken. Let's actually not give her the food she wants. It's you! Eek! Oh, please spare me, Elise. What in the Lord's name are you doing here, Miffy? I I was out on a stroll. I, I swear. I swear on my auntie's name. Ah, and you just so happen to hide behind my house, I see. Who doesn't? You sneak about, folks. Homes every now and then, too, don't you? What are you doing here, Mandy? Tell me right now, or I'll scrub your mouth with soap this very minute. Eek! Uh, it's getting quite late, isn't it, Elise? I'd best... Out with it! Out with it! I, I saw her, the girl you're housing, Elise. You saw nothing, Molly. Sh she's not from around here, even I can tell. Yet you are having supper together and everything, Elise. You keep your mouth shut, Mubby, or I'll... Well, why don't you share me some of that bread you've got, Elise? I might c keep quiet uh, if you do. For sake. Oh, I should have guessed that's what you wanted. But, let's give her grapes, because she wants... What does it matter now? Can I give her... What, what are you telling him, Miffy? You better get me a pretzel tomorrow. Mouth shut, or I'll make certain you'll never go for a stroll again. Eek! And don't come back, or else. Goodness. For goodness sake, this is the last thing I needed. I'm sorry, I... Is she gone? Mm. This could be bad, Rosemarine. I'm sorry. Oh, Elise, I genuinely didn't see her. I could have told you if I had. Uh. Don't you start fretting now, too. Do you think she'll tell anyone? 
If she does, we could be in trouble. I know, Rosamarine. It's Rosamarine. Oh, shush. I'm heading back inside. Ah, yes. It's you! Oh, we're turning out to see me, what were you? For goodness sake, Maggie, I don't have time for this. Give me the grape juice, Elise. I didn't have but breakfast today, so... That's it, I'm telling your auntie you're begging for food again. <laughs> oh, oh, but I'm not but begging, Elise. I saw y you have a goat now. Why am I not allowed to have a goat? <laughs> Kelly, Elise, you're dirt poor. How would you g get your hands on a g goat? Why, you... I see what well, we have an uh, understanding, Elise. Now pass the grape juice or so someone's getting an earful. More suspicion. This will have to do, Monkey. That's all I have on me. That said, you ought to stop terrorizing me every day, or... Yeah, you're mocking me, aren't you? Why, you little ungrateful glutton? But bring me some Lepkachin tomorrow. I may forgive you if you bring me. Oh, I'll throw you into the well. Come here this instant. Eek! Grape juice. For goodness sake, that lassie is driving me to the end of my wits. It's you! That's enough. I'm not giving you one more crumb. But you promised. You promised me some Lepkachin. Promised you nothing, Mercy. Folks, uh, already think it's strange, Elise. Uh, you know about the c crow since y yesterday. So. You know what? Why don't you go ahead? Who's to believe a scrawny little squealer like you, anyhow? All Jockin does, Elise. Miss Oddly does, too. Oh, do they? What are you telling them, then? <sighs> that I saw y you talking to those crows y yesterday. There was a g golden one, too, wasn't there? Happy. Why, you... <laughs> Following you uh, about town is truly s so much fun, Elise. <laughs> I I just know you have the Lepkachin you promised me tucked away somewhere. Not today. Oh, but... Th this isn't what I asked for, Elise. Oh, I don't care, Murphy. Either take it or leave it. Oh, you. N nobody ever calls me by my name. How would you f feel if I called you Elsa... Uh, or Eliza. You make even one little squeak about what you saw, Murphy. And you'll th throw me deep into the well. Y yes, ma'am. But, but before I go, but bring me some hearty soup tomorrow. With Off with you, Mandy. Eek! That little ungrateful rat. I wonder how she follows me about town without me noticing. Murphy. It's you! I, I have an offer for you, uh, Elise. For Out of my sight, Martha, I've had enough trouble for one day. Yeah. Oh, but I, I think you'd like to hear this. Is that so? Out with it, then. I don't have all day. Ah, but but it wouldn't be for f free. <laughs> you know. How about y you give me some hearty soup? Uh, I don't think so, Muffs. Oh, but... We had uh, an uh, agreement, Elise. Yeah, spot. You get an acorn today. Oh, for Whatever, Molly, take this. Oh, you out of my sight, you hear me? <laughs> but but this isn't what you said you'd... <laughs> it's going to have to do, Nelly. Oh, but... I c can't accept, ac accept this, Elise. What do you want me to do about it, Millie? Go buy me some uh, and I'll forgive you, Elise. <laughs> no! Th then bring me some apple strudel tomorrow uh, and I'll... Didn't you hear me the first time? Out of my way, Maggie. Eek! Millie's interference can weigh quite heavy. I'd best be prepared for tomorrow. Mommy. It's you! I'm gonna give her the wrong thing again. It, it was you, Elise! What have I done now, Martha? 
You two are down the maypole. Puppy. Have you completely lost your mind, Melly? Ah, so, so it wasn't you, Elise. Of course it wasn't me, you little... Eek! Wait, have you been telling folks it was me who... <laughs> N not yet, I came to you for some apple strudel. All right. You're not telling anyone anything of the sort, you hear me? <laughs> w watch me, I c can run really fast, Elise. You get a berry. Food is food, I'd say. You keep your mouth shut, now you hear? Th this isn't what I asked for, Elise. I couldn't care less, Mary. Take it or leave it. I I'll be telling those folks you tore that maple down then. You wouldn't dare, Muddy. Eek! I don't have time for this nonsense. <laughs>